that she's going to be briefing the committee soon, and then we'll know what the problem is. But I will say this. We hadn't been told there was a problem, and that this has been but, going but, on but, for but months. But, Senator, that, that, that's There that's was a problem. Point. The oversight committee should have been told. That, that's a fair point, and we'll find out why, why they weren't or what was going on. It was probably to protect the criminal investigation. But, but setting that aside, whether or not these documents were classified, was it right for the president to take these government documents, which he's supposed to turn over to the National Archives, down to Mar-a-Lago? Uh, it was. You should be very careful with classified documents. I've been had access to documents like that for a long time. I'm incredibly careful. I was wondering as I was listening to that discussion if the same things were said uh, when Secretary Clinton had documents, when Director Comey had documents. They had them on the Internet, which is much more dangerous than having them in a box somewhere. But everybody needs to be more careful about how these documents well, are well, Senator, you're still we not answering. We need to be sure that. we don't you're characterize them differently. Well, you're still not, you're not answering any question. You were critical of Senator Clinton, who actually turned over uh, what she had, turned over all her devices. What we have here is a situation where the president did not turn over uh, these documents. Can you say whether that was right or, or right or wrong? Do you believe it was right for the president to take those documents to Mar-a-Lago? He should have turned the documents over and apparently had turned a number of documents over. George, what I wonder about is why this could go on for almost two years and less than 100 days before the election, suddenly we're talking about this rather than the economy or inflation or even the student loan program you and I were going to talk about today. Well, it, it, it went on because the president didn't turn over the documents, correct? He was asked several times. He didn't turn them over. He was subpoenaed. He didn't respond to the subpoena. You know, the, these documents apparently, the good, good thing they're going to have a special master look at these documents to sort through the documents that the president had every right to have and the documents that he hadn't yet turned over. I understand he turned over a lot of documents. He should have turned over all of them. Uh, I imagine he knows that very well now as well. Well, he hasn't said that. He said he did nothing wrong. But I do want to ask you about the president's president.